What's up everyone? Welcome to Gambit's Guide. Today we are going to go through how to configure your Haroon V2 ECU. Now, in this particular uh, Crytype model, we actually have the Perun V2 hybrid as well as the clicker installed. Uh, I'm going to go through a few things with you on how to configure it. Uh, now, if you install it properly, you're supposed, I mean, your package is supposed to come with this card. Over here, this is basically kind of like your uh, guide sheet. If you lost it, don't worry. It's also on the instruction manual as well as online. Ideally, keep this in hand though. This is very useful. So before we begin, obviously you need to uh, connect the battery. I deliberately choose the uh, PDW today, uh, Crytek one. It's because it's an MB selector model. So whenever I toggle the selector, you will see it on the other side. So first of all, let's talk about the firing modes. Before you do anything, you have to understand when you enter programming mode, you're only configuring that particular firing mode. Meaning, let's say you're, you're trying to configure your semi setting. Whatever you're going to do from here, it's only going to affect the semi. Whatever you do on the full auto side, it's only going to affect the full auto mode. Let me explain uh, furthermore. So for example, you're trying to adjust the trigger sensitivity. First of all, you need to enter programming mode. To enter programming mode, you go to, you start off at the set, uh, firing mode that you're at. Then you're going to toggle back and forth two times, like such. So now I'm in programming mode for the semi mode, okay? Now, right now on the first toggle, it's on the firing mode side. You're on semi, I'm okay with it. You're just gonna pull the trigger and that saves it. So basically throughout, you're gonna toggle throughout the entire sheet on uh, which mode you're trying to do. And uh, a couple pointers for you right now. First of all, if you install a clicker, you will need to set the sensitivity to five, I believe. So to do that, again, uh, let's go do semi first, and then we're going to activate programming mode. Now, you are going to head into trigger sensitivity. So which is the light is supposed to blue between purple and yellow. The light is down here, and you're going to have to keep toggling the selector until you see it. So now, as you can hear, the sensitivity setting is at five. Now this is at one, which is the furthest away. At that position, the clicker will not move at all. You're gonna have to keep on adjusting it. At five, then save it. Then and only then, your clicker will actually activate the trigger. Okay? Remember, when you do this, you have to do it together for your full auto mode as well. So after you've done that, go to full auto side and then activate programming mode again. right here, then click save. And only then the clicker will work for both semi and your full auto mode. Next, I'm gonna teach you how to set binary mode. Let's say I want my full auto to be binary. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, binary mode will only work if that mode is shooting semi. That means at full auto, I will need to first set it to semi sh shooting semi only, then turn on binary. This is how you do it. First, head over to full auto and then activate programming mode. Now it's off, that's not right. That's what I want, semi. Hold the trigger. Now it's safe. Then enter programming mode again. Here's binary mode. Binary is supposed to be purple and blue. Remember, always use your light indicator to make sure that that's what you want. Then, now it's on, save. And just like that, now your semi is shooting semi and 
your full auto is shooting. Battery mode. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically how you program your uh, ECU. There's a lot of features, there's a ton of features. There's even a uh, mode that allows it to recognize DSG. Now, um, I'm not gonna tell you in detail like what exactly is DSG, but basically if you set your gear sets, you have a DSG gear set inside, make sure you turn that on. Otherwise the program will be all messed up. But yeah, so that is basically how you program a Perun ECU with a ton of features as well as pre-cocking, uh, lipo alarm, uh, active braking, all that good stuff. Uh, feel free to play around with it and keep this in your hand. Thanks for watching.